All right, so before we start the video, I just want to let you know that I, we, I do have a store. It is actually some pretty cool designs. Right now, just the only thing that came in for what I've ordered is the mask. I got a hat coming, I got a shirt coming, I have sweaters, mugs, stickers, a great assortment of stuff. So check it out. Uh, I put the link in the description below. And be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys enjoy. We are going to discuss Ryobi's uh, new tools and Ryobi days. But we're going to go through all of them today, and I actually found some of them for the, uh, the specs on some of them. And yes. Now, I will say this. This is a mistake on Ryobi's part. These are not brushless tools. It's like, why make brushless tools? But anyways, let's go through the, uh, these tools and see what they actually developed. All right, so the first thing we're gonna go through is we're gonna go through the 3 8 inch ratchet. This is P, uh, P344. And so, yes, let's look at the specs really quick. Uh, it is 2.4 pounds, 3 8 inch, uh, inch chuck for the socket. And uh, the length is 11 and, a, 11 and a half inches, and it is up to 35 foot pounds of torque. So yes, it would be nice if it was brushless, so it could that could be increased with the HP batteries, but it is not. Uh, paddle trigger, very good feature. That is way better than an on and off button or a variable regular trigger. And so I like I love the paddle the, the paddle trigger slash su switch. All right, so when you uh, comes in the box, it is tool only. All right, so four position rotating head. All right, so so when it comes to this, that's pretty much it. It's a three eighths inch ra uh, three eighths inch ratchet. You know, it, it's good for mechanical work. You know, uh, four position head, uh, trigger paddle, which is awesome. Eighteen volt system, and once again, the model number for this is P uh, P three four four. Next, we're going to talk about the new eighteen volt vacuum that Ryobi just came out with. It's a more compact version of the original, but I do not know if this is brushless or not. So this is model number P724, and that is the vacuum itself. Now, when I, I think this says brushless on there, but we are gonna find out if this is a brushless motor. If it is, it would be nice if it uh, worked with the HP system. Uh, let's see, so the, the weight is, uh, the height is 44.7 inches, 4.6 pounds. Motor RPM, six, uh, 60,000. Uh, run time, 45 minutes with a uh, four amp hour battery, 18 volt system. It does not say the motor. Oh, this motor is brushless. 100% brushless, and there it is. So it is good that at least this one is brushless, but when it comes to this, I do not know why they even bother to make it because they already make an awesome one that is brushless, that works with the HP system. They could have taken the money, time, and effort that they made this and put that towards a different tool to make it better. In my opinion, I think that they need to make their hammer drill more powerful you know it's a awesome hammer drill but they, they could make this better so that's just one of the things that i think that they could have done but it is good news that it it is a brushless motor that's awesome you know i do like the design i do like the the dark gray better though but that is a nice design i might actually pick that up i might pick that up when it's available at uh, at home depot so there you go. It is brushless. Three-year warranty. All Ryobi tools are three-year warranty. What do you get in the box? So you get the, the motor unit. You get the roller bar. You get the, the what's it called again? The forever charge. I forget, yeah, that, that is a forever charge. Uh, ever charge, sorry. Stand where you can put your two accessories and then mount your... Uh, vacuum on and you get the extension wand so that's what you get in box now i think this is tool only and like i said 45 minutes uh run time with a four amp hour battery now i do not know if that is a gray battery or if it's a black battery so yeah once again this is model number p724 the cleaning tools that they're coming out with 
is these. Now this is the, the Ryobi One Plus power scrubber. This would be perfect to wash your uh, rims of your car. If you have a condensed area, a little area of dirt that is uh, caked on there, you need that up. These are actually uh, perfect tools for that. And the, the power scrubber actually has a uh, water resistant seal for the battery. Now I do not know what size of battery you could put in there, but I'm pretty sure it might be uh, capable of using a nine amp hour battery. So the easy clean right here, which I got a, a video is coming out about this soon. That looks a lot bigger than what is on there. So, but we will see there's only one way to find out, but it might be capable of using a nine amp hour battery. It's like, it's like, why wouldn't they put that on there? So, so yeah, that, that, that scrubber is going to actually come pretty useful and they have a smaller version of this. I'm not sure on that, uh, or it might be a plug into the wall, then you let it charge then go, but I'm pretty sure you could use a tech four batteries on that. And then you get the one plus uh, telescope power scrubber, which it is pretty much uh, this one, but on a pole. So I do not know if it is, uh, it does not look like it has a paddle switch on there. It might be just a on and off specifications. Features, not much. It's just a bristled brush in the box. Yeah, you get a uh, two inch medium brush, two inches, that's not bad. It would be nice if it was like five inches or six inches, but that's all right. So there you go. That is that is that. So it's it's not much to it. It's a scrubber, you know, like the, it's not like a, the drill specs or or whatnot. All right. So next, this is a portable bucket top mist uh, misting kit. One hundred twenty four dollars. So what you pretty much do with this is you put this on a I'm assuming you could use a five gallon bucket or maybe uh, even smaller than a five gallon bucket, but you just put the hose in and it'll actually create mist for the entire area. They also make this in a fan to where it's a missing machine that sprays into a fan and it goes wherever you want. But this unit, you just flat out put on top of the bucket and then you're good to go. Uh, 22 feet uh, bucket top mist, uh, 22 feet uh, top misting kit, uh, 18 volt lithium ion battery, attachments in a five, yeah, five gallon buckets, standard garden hose and a five gallon, or you could use a five gallon bucket. So that's nice. So it's like a sort of a hybrid for water. You could use a hose or the bucket, which that's good. And so, yeah, so the unit setup just missed, revive system can expand up to 44 feet of misting area, which that's pretty good. 44 foot in misting area is pretty good. So like if you're out uh, in the middle of the field and you're with like a vendor or something and you would need a, a cooling area, there you go. Because a fan isn't going to do you if you're in 90 degree heat. So that's actually pretty cool. I, I like that. I like that. All right. So next, what is here? We have a PVC cutter. All right. So this is a PVC and PEX cutter. Uh, quick cleanups, uh, two inch, it can cut up to two inch PVC pipe, I guess. And it is a hundred dollars. Model number is P593. And yes, this thing is, uh, I actually have this at my Home Depot already. I just don't need a PVC cutter because I don't cut that much PVC. So I did not get it. And so, yes, this thing is a, <clears throat> a quick blade, quick blade release, which is good to have because you don't want to wait for the motor to go up by itself. It is 3.6 pounds, 18 volt system. Maximum cutting capacity is 2.375 inches. In the box, it's tool only. It's a PVC cutter, you guys, you know, it, it cuts PVC, you know, it's very simple, but the tool is there. It's a hundred bucks. And so it's, th that's not that bad. All right, so for the rest of this stuff, I was not able to find on the right Ryobi website. All right, so the rest of this stuff is, okay, we already went through the 3 8 inch ratchet. The, qu the quarter inch rack, uh, ratchet, I'm just going to assume it's the same specs as a 3 8 but it's only a quarter inch chuck. All right, so then the, the, the tri LED light, that's awesome. I am going to get this one. This uh, I do not own one yet for a, a huge area light. I do not know what the lumens are. I do not know how tall it is. If I could find that information out, I'll put it right now. 
because this is not on the Home Depot website or it's not on the Ryobi website. So that's just one of the ones that is not. All right, but that, that, that does look cool though. For the 3 8 inch drill driver, why did they make this? This was a huge mistake to make. I do not know what the model number is. I do not know what the specs is. This also was not on the Home Depot website, nor was it on the Ryobi website. When it comes to a drill driver, they already made a brushless half inch drill that is capable of going with the HP system. Why make a 3 8 inch chuck drill driver that is brushed? Please, uh, I, I'm just informing you guys, do not buy this drill. Do not buy this drill that's coming out. It is not gonna last long. Other companies have 12 volt uh, drills that are gonna be more powerful th than that. Uh, they, instead of that time being wasted on that one, they could have uh, remade this and made this one more powerful. You know, that's just me though. It's like, why would you do that? So this drill is gonna be bad. Just to let you guys know that's gonna be weak. This one's awesome. Three and three eighths inch uh, multiple, multiple material saw. All right, so this one should be brushless because I'm gonna assume you could use a wood, metal, and tile, or stone, if you will. And so it does come with a vacuum port to where it'll suck the debris out. And yeah, this it is gonna be a useful tool, but it should be brushless. It's like, why aren't these tools brushless? It drives me crazy that like, because all the other companies are making br new brushless stuff. So Ryobi should be doing the same thing. Every tool that they should be making from here on out should be brushless. Like uh, th they just came out with this uh, during the holidays, P235A of, of 2019, December of 2019. Why is this brushed? They already have a powerful brushless one. Instead of redeveloping, uh, instead of develop developing this, they should have put the time and effort that they put in this and remake this one to be even more powerful. Then th this one should uh, would be obsolete then. And so it, it's like, why, why make this stuff? It's like, why? It's brushed. Make brushless stuff. Just like the, they just made a brand new 3 8 inch drill driver. They already have a brushless half inch drill driver that works with the HP system. Blows my mind, blows my mind. But anyways, those are the new tools that are coming out and uh, I do want that light. I am gonna get pick up that vacuum because it is brushless, so I will pick it up. The other tools, I am not gonna pick up because they are brushed. I do not like buying brushed, I do not like investing into brushed tools. So these two tools I am gonna get though, I like that. I like that. When it comes to when it comes to Ryobi, unfortunately, I am veering away from Ryobi when it comes to power tools because they are not innovating and making their stuff better. They now this channel started out as uh, a Ryobi uh, Ryobi channel, and what got me into Ryobi is their brushless system. But they are veering away from their brushless system and going back to brushed. It's like, why? It's 2020, not 19, uh, like 1996. They have to make brushless tools from here on out to keep the public interested because this 3 8 inch drill driver is gonna fail on you. It's not gonna last long, I promise you that. My Facebook group, Ryobi Rebels, they posted uh, a catalog for Ryobi days. All right, so what I guess is happening is, is they're going to have the uh, two bat two four amp hour black batteries, which this is the, which that is this. This is uh, model number P one nine seven. All right, they're gonna have a battery kit for eighty dollars, and then you get a free tool with it. Now, I guess among those th free tools, and and more, is these so far. So I do not. They're they're probably gonna do it uh, up to value eighty dollars. And so what they're gonna mark down some uh, some tools and there, there's gonna be more of an option there for you to select some tools. They're also gonna have a bunch of stuff that uh, Ryobi Days was not canceled. Thank God there is, it is gonna happen in the beginning of June. And so, yeah, so it, it's gonna be good. It's good. So this is the beginning of what it's going to, going to be. So yeah, I thank you, uh, Ryan, for, uh, for posting this because uh, now I can just see it and see what is up there. 
And yeah, so like uh, there's plenty of videos coming up. I have the Ryobi Easy Clean to uh, upload still. So plenty of unboxes coming up. I also got the DeWalt 60 volt brushless flex volt uh, uh, 2.5 gallon air compressor. I was gonna get the three gallon, the, the one gallon Ryobi, but I want more of a capacity than one gallon. So I decided to go for the, the uh, DeWalt flex volt. I also got the Milwaukee Fuel uh, M12 cutter. And so this is gonna be good. This is my number T522-21 uh, XCH. Unboxing of this is coming up as well. So plenty of unboxings, plenty of videos coming up. So make sure you hit the like button for this video and please subscribe to the channel. So uh, there are more stuff coming for Ryobi days. I'll keep you guys informed. As soon as the information gets to me, they're probably not gonna announce everything right now. They're gonna announce it probably closer towards the date. But this, uh, this, this was leaked, uh, Truce from 45 Tools, so it'll be good. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to talk, discuss the new tools that Ryobi's coming out with. A couple are good, a couple are bad. You know, so I, I think they made, made a huge mistake. So, so if you found this information useful, please like the video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.